Welcome to Quick Learn. Allocating in the minimum valued cell of the first row is called row minima method. Taking our balance problem, here in the first row 2 is the minimum, so we allocate like here. If we compare the row and column values, that is supply and demand values, 6 is the minimum, so we allocated 6 and the row, row value is fully satisfied, so we eliminated that row. And for column, we will have 1 units remain. This is our remaining table. In this table, 0 is the minimum element for the first row. So we allocate here. For this cell, 1 and 5 are the supply and demand values. If we compare, 1 is the minimum, so we allocate 1. And row is fully satisfied, so we eliminate row. And for column, we have 4 units remaining. This is our remaining table. And here, 5 is the minimum element, so we allocate here. For 5, 1 is the demand and 10 is the supply, so we allocate 1. And column is fully satisfied, so we eliminate column. And row values, we allocated 1 unit, so we will have 9 units remaining. This is our remaining table and here 8 is the minimum element so here we allocate for this we have to compare 4 and 9 4 is the minimum so we allocate 4 and column is satisfied so column eliminated and from 9 4 units we have taken so we have 5 units balance. In this remaining table 9 is the minimum so we allocate here for this 2 is the demand and 5 is the supply so we allocate 2 here and we have a 3 units balance. And we have only one element remaining 15 so if we allocate here here supply and demand values are both 3 so we allocate here and all our values are satisfied this is our allocated table we have to calculate transportation cost by multiplying allocation into the cost so 2 into 6 0 into 1 5 into 1 8 into 4 15 into 3 9 into 2 so the total cost will be 112 rupees so if you want an elaborative explanation you will go through the link given in the description. Thank you.